Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now all around the world, on my channel, I research things in a spiritual way. And I show how the Father has everything laid out all around us of what is coming. Now in Quebec, they had this large train accident where the train came off the tracks on July 6. And this happened up in Canada. Now this came out right around near the time of the Lone Ranger movie, which in the beginning of the movie, they showed a train derailing. And they kept saying it was the end of the line. They keep showing in these events that we're nearing the end of the age. Nobody knows dates or times or hours. But let's go over here to Lac Megantic, Quebec, and see where this happened at. This is right here where this area is, right where the train derailed in this small city. Now I show how the whole earth is mapped out showing what's coming. And when it shows things like this, it, show, it, it was all meant as a sign. This is a deer with the antlers ready to, to go. And the symbolism of this, this is, so, this is shown as like the hunt is beginning. That after the train derails, the Great Tribulation begins. Now if you back off a little bit more, if you don't know these symbols, you won't be able to break most of these codes. If you watch a lot of my videos on my channel, you will see what all of these mean. Right here, you can see this dog face and then the deer. And all of the symbolism of the things that they keep showing, they show this is like a mask. And this represents the dog star Sirius. Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ is real and all he created all of the universe all of the celestial things have jobs when this mask is removed the hunt begins I'm just showing all this right here now one of the ways to tell there's a lot more in here we're going to go into this first thing to know is that the Freemasons or Prince William and them rising up as the New World Order, they are not the Catholic Church. They are the Templars. They are against the Catholic Church. They are more in line with the Jewish, um, with the Hasidic Jewish lines and such like that. They're, they're against the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church even killed most of the Templars. But this is what the Freemasons and the New World Order is about. They get rid of the Catholic Church in there. See these, the Templars rising up with the great sword. Well right here, let's see some. This is another hieroglyph I've broken down and you can see this man with this hat right here. This guy and he's making these guys, he's doing something with the it's showing America with numbers on their heads and he's creating the New World Order. But they're chasing this other entity out. See how he's like a clown right there? It replays over and over again exactly like, we find this thing here. In this movie Megamind, they show it over and over again. Mega Man, the guy in white, is like Jesus. He's retired. He's taking his people and leaving. This blue guy is the guy that is now going to save the world. And he has to fight this guy over here, this guy in orange. This is the way the new situation is. The guy coming to save the world is this guy blue in blue right here. And he's taking out this guy that is known as the Joker. That is exactly why it's shown everywhere. Even England, the man in Wimbledon just beat the guy named Jokar. Even the guy in Boston that came and did the killings and the manhunt. His name was Jokar, the Chechnian. They're getting rid of the Joker that is in the Catholic Church. This blue guy is coming, is what they keep showing. 
on that train if you want to say that. Now right here, the thing is to know that the Templars are rising up. You see right here with this cross in the middle and then the lake right there? There he is. There's the guy right there with the hat. He's wearing the Templar outfit and they're getting rid of the rest of these clowns. I know it's weird, but that's what I keep showing on my channel. That that's what they're doing. See him right there perfectly? There's his hat. But you can see all of that right there. He even has his hat right there. The Templars rising up. See the man with the hat getting ready to start the New World Order. There he is right there. This is part of another glyph and you can see that see this dog right here and when this mask is removed the bull kicks off the mask off of Obama and the dog stars Sirius. That's the day of the rapture. In the Hopi Indian legends, it's called when the blue kachina removes its mask. The dog. The dog star Sirius. In the Bible, it's called when the man of perdition removes his mask. Is the time of trouble begins and the catching away, the rapture begins. Both prophecies are right there. The man of perdition and the dog star Sirius, the blue kachina. So let's back it off and show this again. Look at that, that's that Templar guy right there. And he's after those clownish looking guys. Like the Smith in the Matrix movie. This guy's the same guy in the Watchmen. In the Watchmen movie, they have the blue guy coming. And Ozymandias is the bad guy that wants to blow up the world. Ozymandias, like the Wizard of Oz. Him. In the movie Dune, they have the Mahdi coming. And the Mahdi, the same guy that the Jews want, the Mahdi, he has to fight Sting, the guy in orange, for the other house. And when he kills him, they take over. In the Matrix movie, it's the same thing. Neo has to fight the Smith. And the Smith has made clones of himself in everybody's DNA. He's everywhere. So they have to cut him out. Right here we can show the whole thing. Right here. We have the dog removing its mask. And then we have the deer with the antlers. Now crazy or not, they showed it this boot right here. See the boot right here? This boot kicking off the mask. Kicking off the mask. See the leg and the boot kicking off the mask. In, in the deep, you need to know your Bible from the beginning to the end to deal with all this stuff, especially Old Testament. The boot represents the betrayal of the man of perdition. All right there, when the mask comes off. Now they show this guy and this machine. I know this is crazy, but it's all right here. And we're going to show this machine at Area 51. They show this man sitting on the machine here. And they're getting rid of all of the Smiths. They're getting rid of all of the DNA pieces. All of it right there. Not easy to see, but it's all right on there. Let's just do it like this for a second. This is what's there as a perfect story as we've been showing over and over again. Let's go to Area 51 for a second. This is Area 51 at Groom Lake. They have this stuff mapped out all around the earth. I show it on my channel all the time. All right here, you can see this. These are those clowns. 
right here and he's sitting on, on one of those machines and they're doing things to this head right here remember this head we're going to show exactly this same thing the dog star Sirius and they have a body in a box right there you can just barely make that out see all that right there even this guy right inside there and these clowns are the ones they have to get rid of they call them clones and he's spread out everywhere upon the earth inside of everybody's DNA they have to cut him out and remember this face over here in this corner see that face as they're pulling stuff in and out all of that's right over where the train area is even the name of the area I can't pronounce that very well but it means where the fish gather is what this means where the fish gather that's us it's it's showing the end of the line the train crashing so there we go that's area 51 all of that right there right in front of us so let's go back over towards the train wreck area where the train derailed We can see the deer and the dog. Concentrate on these for a second. We're going to go show where these are at. See the dog perfectly and then the deer with the horns. Let's go show where that's at. At the Salton Sea area on the southwest corner of the United States. This is the Salton Sea area which is at, this is all actually below sea level in Palm Springs and they believe that something's going to happen down here and this is basically going to fall off this is presented for the heart machine just like the keyhole for the event right there and we saw the dog there's the dog right there see him right there right in the crops I've been showing this one for about four years see him right in there that's the dog that's the day when the mask comes off then the deer starts coming well let's turn it this way there's the deer sticking the key in the keyhole the stag has a lot of things to do with a lot of gentlemen clubs and such. You can apply your symbolism to that as you want. There he is. See him right there? There's the deer. This horn goes up to the Hoover Dam area, which is ready to blow. Then this horn goes up to Phoenix. They have all of the United States of America ready to fall in one hour so England and everybody can rise up to take on Russia and bring about the new world order there you go so that's the same situation here the dog and then the deer so we have the same thing right here we have the dog And then we have the deer. Oops. And then we have the deer all right there. We have the dog and then the deer right where the train derailed, crashing and destroying practically the whole town. We have the Templars ready to rise up. Here they are right there doing the mark of the beast. There we go. We saw the Templars 
right here in the same situation. You see how he's holding this this thing in his hand? Let's go to Washington for a second. This is Washington DC. You can see this guy inside of the box ready to come out. See the thing he has in his hand right there? Just like the Templars ready to rise. I keep showing that these things mean an actual power plant area in San Diego. It's been turned off for a few years now, but it's all set up near Camp Pendleton for when this day happens to bring about that great earthquake and such right there. And then they get a great sword, and there's the thing in their hand right there. Matching this exactly over and over again perfectly. The fifth age, the check mark for the mark of the beast coming. Okay, we're back up in Quebec. Now, if you can't see everything or not, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Can you see the dog outlined? And then following it, you can see the deer with his horns going right up to there. Let's get rid of this lettering. And that. And if you can't see anything else, see this. I mean, you can see the cross right in there, cut perfectly. You can see this man right there. See how this face and this machine, oh, where did the machine go? See the man sitting there with the machine and the face at the end and the boot? I mean, it's just, we have verified all of these different things on our channel of what each one means. And they're showing them over and over again with them getting rid of the Smith, the Templars rising, the New World Order. So it's all right here in front of us. And that's what that train meant. The same thing as in the Lone Ranger movie. That Lone Ranger movie had a lot of symbolism of what exactly is coming. And it, they talked of when the train was derailing. And then they had a hook. And that was the end of the line. We're reaching the end of the age, as they call it. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Call out to him. It's real and it's all around us. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah. Let's save the line. We jump. We're not passengers. They jump. We... There's children on board. All jump. You! No! Decent thing! When are you going anywhere? No! Going somewhere? Yes! No! No! Yes! No! Yes! No, we are not! Yes! No! Yes! Shut up! Yes! <laughs> <laughs>